As robots have continued to evolve in complexity and functionality over the years, their capabilities and roles have also grown. Different types of robot are designed for different purpose. But in common, almost all robot are comprised of systems working together as a whole. Regardless of whether they're incredibly complex or relatively simple machines, all robots fundamentally consist of a few key parts that are common to any type. Some basic systems like control system, power supply system, signal processing system etc. helps a robot to achieve its purpose. Power supply system. For a robot to work, we need a power supply which acts as food to the robot. Without the power supply system, robot cannot work. For major robotic applications, we need DC supply. Usually 5V, 9V, 12V DC, sometimes goes as high as 18V, 24V, 36V, etc., as per our requirement. Actuator System Actuators are devices which brings about the locomotion of the robot. This system makes robot move forward, backward, right, left, up down etc. To accomplish locomotion, devices which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy are used. Such devices are called actuators. Sensor system. In order for the robot to interact with the physical world, it needs sensors, which can measure physical parameters like temperature, pressure, sound, radio wave, infrared wave, etc. These sensor systems provide a feedback from the real world to the digital world, that means, it converts physical signals to digital signals, which are processed, and the robot takes the decision accordingly. Signal Processing System The data from the sensors and other electrical and digital signals need to be processed so that the robot analyzes the situation and makes its moves. For this, electronic components like analog to digital converters or microcontrollers are used to process the signals and collect the information or data which helps robot to act as per program. Control system. A control regulates the behavior of other subsystems. Control systems allow for the movement and function of various parts of the robot, as well as, execute a specific set of motions. A control system, has two loops, open and closed. Layering the control system, helps to increase, the ability and flexibility, of the robot. Regardless of their size and designs, these basic systems, acts as body, muscle, brain, sensors etc. for the robots.